Uh, did that work? Yes, it did. We should be good. I mean, uh, you need 50 followers, I think, before you can become an affiliate, which is when that starts happening. But honestly, um, the amount of money you get as a streamer is is nothing. Like, donations via Twitch is, like, they take most of it. So if anyone does actually want to donate to me, um, I have a Patreon and I have a Ko-fi. There are links for those in the episode descriptions on YouTube or my Twitter or basically everywhere. Um, it's no me by no means cult compulsory. If nobody paid me ever, I would still keep streaming. I would also keep, still keep making my Let's Plays because I make, I'm proud of the work I do and I, I enjoy making them. But if you want to kick me something to maintain my existence, that's how you do that. Um, so I probably wouldn't attempt to use Twitch's mechanisms until I had like hundreds and hundreds of, um, of followers on Twitch, which, hey, you know, ultimate goal to have a decent following, but uh, for now it's not a thing. So uh, let's let's go, let's dive in. Um, we should be picking up exactly where we left off, which was getting this shit kicked out of us by a fishman, I believe, uh, who is the least complex of this game's various v villains, as far as I can tell. Hey buddy, what's up? You okay? Jesus. As someone with a wide variety of coughs in my repertoire, that was not a good cough for him. Okay, well this is getting pretty full up, huh? I've got quality meat, meat, poultry... I think I need more poultry, but I might be able to get some of the uh, upgrades. Oh, yes. Which are in the form of uh, delicious meals, I guess. Yeah, I need one more poultry to get the Burden Beast Pylaf. Um, that's guarding, which I don't... I'm, I'm really bad at remembering to guard, so that's irrelevant. I need fish for this. I need juicy game. I need quality meat one, which I have, but I need fish again. And for samale de peste, I need finest fish. I wonder if the fish man will drop that. Good day, then. Just kind of a terrifying thought, all things considered. Uh, this looks like a QR code, but I suppose this is probably that I need to plug that in here somehow. Drain the water. <sighs> Shit, there's no power. So, can I take this with me? Doesn't look like it. Normally, these things that you can't move have some some use to them, but um. I suspect once I've enabled the power, I'll have to put that code in here. It's a very simple puzzle, and yet somehow more complex than most of the puzzles you get in Resident Evil. Who knew? So previously we had this area, which I has this. The exit's underwater. Uh, yeah, the exit is underwater, but also more importantly, as long as this place is full of water, it's uh, Fishman Clown Town Tuesdays all up in here. There is very little we can do that won't be interrupted by a large underwater foe. I'm sorry for the delay in starting today, by the way, which um, is actually not that uncommon or that much of a problem, but I, uh, I've i been a bit ill all week, so I hadn't been able to record any Let's Play episodes, and uh, I wanted to get one done for tomorrow so that I didn't miss my, on my schedule, and then it took longer than I expected. Coughing. Is that is that just him back in the house, or is that someone over here? I do need to keep an eye- oh, chickens. Delicious poultry. This crank is old and busted up. It feels like it'll snap any second. I hope it doesn't break. The only one we- other one we have is in windmill 2. So it looks like there's three windmills I need to enable, and I may need a crank to enable them. I know- ugh, I know there's a lot of- a lot of people watching who do not appreciate bird murder, but unfortunately, I am not, uh... Did this one not drop? Oh, there we go. I'm not willing to try and do some kind of uh, moralist playthrough where I, I refuse to take advantage of these animals in order to uh, preserve my own existence, because, let's be real... Uh, okay, I'm d this is getting silly. Traditionally, one would not bother, but... Uh, you know what? Ethan is not a... Uh, oh, hey, it's another treasure chest. This one's openable. The last one wasn't. Uh, Ethan Winters is not a, uh, a traditional man. He does not have the uh, farm-raised capacities that some some individuals do. 
So that he would not know how to grab and wring the neck of a chicken is not that surprising to me. It's kind of funny to imagine City Boy running around desperately trying to slash a, a chicken with a knife, but... Can I take this with me? Oh, oh hang on. <laughs> they did warn me. Oh, seriously? Yeah, they got to be cranking my chain, as they say. Do people say that? Maybe I'm just a crank. Although it's understandable that Ethan would be feeling a bit cranky at this point. That's it. I, I don't have any more. That's all. That's all the crank puns I have. So something tells me I'm going to have to traverse through watery areas at some point, even though Fishman, whose name is Moreau, which is interesting, they're, they're all intentionally named with these sorts of vaguely thematic names. So we have, well, I say that, I don't know why the Bienavento is called the Bienavento, but um, Dimitrescu is obviously supposed to be sort of, you know, Eastern European feeling and um, Moreau is, is quite obviously a reference to the island of Dr. Moreau, which is a classic horror film about a man who uh, invites people to his island and then creates terrifying manimals. Yo, Yowza, hi, what's up? Not looking to fish food. <laughs> he didn't break this, which seems unlikely. This is just a cry for attention. He's clearly fishing for praise. These pontoons, I feel like they absolutely should be smashed by him. <laughs> but um, I do think uh, I do think that they've tried to go for a slightly more arch decision than their usual uh, inspirations for body horror, which is usually just make things like bigger and weirder and gloopier and spikier. Whereas they clearly actually researched parasites for this. I believe they did that for Resident Evil 4 as well. That seems like I have to push that down from the other side. Um, because Resident Evil 4 obviously featured parasites as the, the vehicle for its weird disease that makes monsters out of people, which is Resident Evil in a nutshell, I guess. But um, I think they did research on parasites for that, but the weird tendrils poking out of this guy are very, very similar to... Uh, a number of uh, parasitic worms that you, you get in a variety of insect species and such like. Oh no! Ugh, it stinks. It's nasty, but it's gross. This is far from the worst thing he's done so far today. It wasn't even anything nasty on the handle. This guy is way more squeamish than I would have expected. Both for a resi protagonist and just in general. I'm going to assume that I can't actually hurt this guy yet. Oh, this looks like a puzzle. I, I probably have to raise different bits in sequence, right? Did I miss something back here, though? That's the real question. Uh, oh, yeah, I can't go back up there yet. So I guess there's only one way to go, which is the way this game goes. Oh, this is a timing puzzle. I see how it is. So blue and then orange... And then blue again, I guess. And then orange. And yellow. And smash. I don't even have a magnum yet. So what have I got? Orange. Blue. Yellow. So I should do a yellow last because it's the one that I don't have access to over here. And we are through. Not especially difficult, but then we weren't expecting it to be. So if um, if the island of Dr. Moreau as a horror film, and this this movie, this game, <laughs> are you? I love this guy's I love this guy's energy. I love his confidence. Oh, I may have timed this badly. No, nope, we're good. So uh, this, as, as opposed to most of the Resident Evils, very explicitly is riffing on. Um, other kinds of horror movies than it usually does. The reference for Resident Evil are almost always like splatterhouse gory horror. Um, especially kind of hyper lurid 1980s action horror. But um, 
they are explicitly drawing their influences more more widely in this Resident Evil specifically, um, which I am all for and appreciate greatly. Oh, hey, it's a box of worms. Not a lot of people know this, but the like worm industry of Eastern Europe is actually huge. Like, it is not unusual that there would be a worm mine right here. Where does this go? This is that's just back to where I came from. Okay, yeah, this is a big loop. It's always a big loop. So. I'm pretty sure I can just get across here and be fine. It's interesting what he will and will not smash. He seems to have a lot of uh, opinions. He seems to have a lot of very careful and specific behaviours, almost as if everything he does is entirely scripted. And whether or not it will be able to harm me is, is based on nothing, really. Oh, I didn't need to waste a pipe bomb, pipe bomb on, on one of these last stream. Hmm, okay. Is there anything else lying around? No. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, uh, yeah, horror movies. So a lot of people have said that this one is kind of more... It has its reference in more the kind of like hammer horror genre in these in these sort of like camp, but more genuine, genuinely scary horrors. Myself a big one. Oh, it's a whole boat. It's a boat time. I say sounding vaguely Canadian, but not intentionally. So, yeah, this has been fairly clear, because what do we have? We have the classic horror monsters. We have vampires that we have fought already. We definitely have werewolves. In fact, the classic hor Hammer Horror features were uh, the Wolfman, the, uh, the vampire, I believe, Count Dracula, and um, Frankenstein was the other classic Hammer Horror monster, and, of course, the... Uh, the Fishman, the, uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon. So... All four of the main bosses so far of this game reflect one of those equally. Vampires are obviously the Dimitrescs, the Wolfman is obviously the Lycans, and over here... Oh hey, the crank. Can I, do I not rotate this one as well, or is this already in the right position? I guess it must be. What's, what even is this? Oh, okay, I just, I'm not allowed to go up there. So I... I guess I need to... Oh, right, I bet I can rotate this. Yeah, okay. So, uh, yeah, what the fuck was I talking about? Right, horror movies, so... This is such a peculiar sensation. I assume that helped me in some way. So... Oh, I see how it is. Uh, yeah, so obviously the Dimitrescs are, are the vampire, the, wolf, the lichens are the wolfmen. House Bienevento, however, <laughs> is uh, a more modern horror monster. It is, of course... What is there to do up here? What's the point of being up here? Ah, the zipline, naturally. Where the hell did he... Okay, I didn't... Was that here? Did I have that? Yeah, Bienevento is the creepy haunted doll and or Chucky, which is not one of the classic monsters, and it's curious that they decided to have it as a focus. Because um, I know that later in the game there is a, a whole Frankenstein-y sequence, so if they combined the Wolfman and the Frankenstein, maybe? Which is a weird decision, if you okay. ask me. I feel like I've forgotten something. Ah, shortcut, fantastic. Well, I mean, I don't know if we've agreed it, but it it seems to me that it is it is Chucky rather than a haunted house kind of thing. It is very much like even the eyes look like Chucky's eyes, so there's definitely an element of it. Even if it's not the main focus. But I think pretty sure it is the main focus. But um I would I would have I would argue that Chucky is one of the examples of the kind of the well, usual then, like lurid nineteen eighties horror that these games tend to reference rather than the more classic uh gothic horror references of uh, yeah, combinable, that is combinable. Um of Resident Evil. Ah, I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Got some good things on sale, stranger. Do I want any of these? I mean, I've got lots of money, not using much ammunition. Although I am going into a boss fight, maybe I should buy some ammunition. Oh wait, he doesn't sell anymore. Yeah, like, this, it's like, oh, there's four lords and four of them correspond to the, the four iconic hammer horror. 
creatures, except for one of them who doesn't. And then we just have two of the Hammer Horror creatures be combined, I guess. Um, do I want a pipe bomb? I've got two. I might as well grab it. Actually, well, I should be spending my money on upgrades, clearly. Uh, there's only one left for my beloved Lemmy. But 20 seems like plenty. <laughs> um, I'm still not sure if there's much point to upgrading the M1911 since I prefer the Lemmy anyway. There's at least... I wonder how many more guns there are in the game. And it looks like I can't upgrade the uh, grenade launcher. Up grenade. So I guess... I may as well upgrade this, actually. I do I do snipe people from time to time, although it tends to kill them automatically anyway. Also, the more bullets I can keep in my guns is the fewer bullets I have to keep in my inventory, which I think is probably worth taking advantage of. Alright, that'll do. Oh shit, I just... Literally the reason I came in here was to see if I could get a food now that I bought some... Well, now that I found some poultry. But I probably don't have the money for any of these. I could get that one. I can't get that one. I can't get that one. I can't get that one. You'd think there'd be a lot of fish around here, but whatever. I guess the guy Take ate care. all of them. That was weirdly menacing for you. I thought you were my buddy. Oh wait, hang on. This is my puzzle now. Yeah, okay. Can I rotate this so that it stays rotated? So if I put it this way up, so I need, okay, the black stays where it is, I need blue to go left and right. I wonder how this, is this a sliding block puzzle? Oh no, they just change colour, okay, fair enough. So I need this one to be blue, this one to be white, this one to be orange, this one to be orange, this one to be white, this one to be orange, this one to be blue. Again, not a difficult puzzle, but slightly more involved than Resident Evil puzzles tend to be. Now that's a dam. Got it. Am I not allowed to fight it? It seems like beaching a giant horrible whale monster is how you kill it more easily. Like, it's been a while since I killed a whale, but I'm pretty sure that's how you traditionally... Actually, no, shit, the honourable way to kill a whale is to hunt it from rowing boats. From the uh, ship's launches. So I'm going to save really quickly and then um, reboot the game very, very carefully. Just take two seconds to do that. Because if I don't, uh, we will start getting a, a VRAM issue. So we'll be back in a second. All right, we should be back. We should be good, I think. Yep. So I don't think it's reaching particularly far to say that they are intentionally riffing on these classic horror archetypes, because as I mentioned previously, the baby in this is called Rosemary. Rosemary's Baby, one of the iconic like classic horror movies, although I did describe the plot completely incorrectly last stream, having mistaken it for a... Oh, hi. Oh, you water, be you, you water take better care of it, huh? Bye, I guess. Coward. Now, can I find myself some fish? That's the real question. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Rosemary's Baby is an obvious reference. There is also the fact that, you know, this guy is called um, Moreau, which is an obvious reference to the island of Dr. Moreau. And he is, you know, much, much more directly a sort of an animal-human hybrid than is uh, the wolfman. 
which mostly just looks like a fucked up guy. Oh, I didn't need to go through that window at all. So, uh, if that's the case, then it seems like he's very clearly a reference to the island of Dr. Moreau. And, um... Ah, interesting. October 1, a sunny day. Mother Miranda brought me five peoples from the village, just like I asked did. I made them sleep with some liquid, and then I put cadeau in their tummies. I'm looking forward to the cadeau to grow in their tummies. October 2nd, cloudy day. Four people from the village are dead this morning. One is almost a lichen. I sent it on to my lab in the mountain. I failed again. Mother wants strong vessels, but I cannot get any. I will need more people from the village. So presumably these four entities are, like, growing their uh, parasites in different ways. Well, I may as well equip that. I do, I do love the iconic image of a handgun with a with an absurdly extended magazine poking out of the bottom. I find it so satisfying to look at. But that's because I'm uh, weirdly into guns as a concept. I think that they are evil objects that should not exist. However, they also deeply fascinate me, and I do cheer when I when I recognise successfully the names of. Uh, you know, I'm like, oh cool, it's that gun I know. Whenever I'm watching an action movie. Oh, hi. Gross. Ow. Is this the combat arena for this guy? This doesn't seem like it's going well for me so far. Ah, yeah, this is the combat arena for this guy. Okay, this is a lot more open than I thought it was. So, if I can lure him past this big red barrel, I can explode it, because these are kind of like pure video games, let's be honest. If I can stun him again like that, I should be able to shoot his horrible head thing. So, are we good? You coming? This is pretty classic as far as Resident Evil bosses go, or even video game bosses generally. Lure a guy around until you can stun him in the environment and then shoot him in his exposed weak spot is kind of pure video games. This guy's got some issues. Has anyone ever considered therapy instead of, uh... Well, that looks undodgeable. Oh wait, hang on, there's like awnings I can hide under, maybe. Apparently not. This might- I might actually die this time. I don't believe I've died previously. I think- ah, uh, maybe Dimitrescu killed me one time. I got one healing item. So, well, it's good to know he can make it rain, I guess. Oh, I could place landmines, that'd fuck him up a bit. Where the hell even is he? Does he not know where I am? I didn't think this would have sufficient, like, pathfinding, that that would be an issue. I wonder if this fight will last as long as the Dimitrescu fight, which was a while, let's be honest. I'm out of shotgun, that's not good. Am I out of explosions as well? That's also not great. Poor hands. This seems like it'd be a harder one to heal than his last hand problem. I'm just gonna place some landmines. Like, I'm never gonna use the damn things if I'm not, if I don't. Hey, come stand on this. It'll, it'll be fun for both of us. Yes, you certainly are trying, darling. I don't think anyone would deny that. How many more landmines do I have? I have three of landmine. Ha ha ha! Three landmine? Oh, that's not the way. Can't get caught in that. It's nice that that landmine apparently does not... Oh, here we go again. Is there is there somewhere safe I can hide? Under here. That's why it's yellow, I bet. On 
the one hand it's grody, on the other hand it's weirdly pretty. Tragic how we've destroyed our environment. Acid rain is everywhere. Hey, I'm just standing here in the open. Idiot. You feel like dying anytime soon? There we go. Phase two? Or is he gonna pop? Taking all bets, taking all bets, I'll give good odds. Oh, the Crystal Moreau, that is just the end of him, huh? Disgusting. Oh, I have a sneaking suspicion that he's going to turn out to have been also the Frankenstein, so it's not the Wolfman, it's it's this this guy is the the Gilman and also the Frankenstein. Because he has a laboratory for me to explore, I believe. Because we saw a sign earlier that pointed to a laboratory, and I bet that's not the end of this section, because there hasn't been a uh, like a roaming section with monsters for me to hunt, which has been the pattern so far. So if he's going to have one, it'll be his weird laboratory, which means that that'll probably be the Frankenstein bit, I bet. You know, it's not like I'm incredibly good at media and understanding and predicting what's going to happen and ruining movies for my flatmates when I won't shut up about predicting what's going to happen because I'm so familiar with the patterns of narrative. Um, hopefully it will be a spooky lab, you never know. And thanks, by the way, with regards to the pop. I am very good at everything I do and that is one of the things that I do. Actually, I should reload. Um, the exit's up ahead. I think I actually made a profit off that fight in terms of uh, ammunition. I don't think there was anything I've forgotten to go back for, so let's go. That was waste and accidental. Right, so uh, yeah, if this guy is both of those, then it makes sense. But um, what was I talking about? Right, I was talking about the ways in which uh, it wears its references on its sleeve. So I do find myself wondering, is this a shortcut or is this just... Oh, right, okay, I have to upgrade this. The upgrade will be in here. Oh, this is where he was to start with. Where I uh, caused this whole situation. Oh, hello. You're better off than I thought. Who's that? Oh, come on. We just met a while back, not that it really matters. You're the last asshole in my way, aren't you? You've got fight. I'll give you that, Ethan. But what's the plan when you have all four flasks? What are you trying to get at? I could lend you a hand. Not trying to get on my good side? I don't get cocky. I'd kill you if you weren't worth the trouble. There's a stronghold not too far outside the village. Go there and get my flask. Do that and you pass. First, head back to the graveyard. I mean, self centered prick. <laughs> I mean, you know, I get that he's a sexy, like a sexy, scruffy cowboy type, but you really do need to stop talking about his asshole and his prick. Like, come on, we can all tell that you're into it. So, this is a cadeau, which is present in French, I believe, although it's spelled different. This is the icon we've been seeing around alive? Uh, the village. It is on the sigil on some of the doors, it's also on the sigil on. I'll read this in a second. It's also the sigil on the jars. It's on the sigil that the old lady has been scribbling. But, I mean, you joke, but the, the objective of this game is literally to glue the baby back together. Mother Miranda gave me a rose jar. Nobody likes me, which is why I thought they would leave me out again. But Heisenberg said that was why we could each get a rose. The ceremony cannot happen without us all there. Mother didn't seem to care, though. Mother said rose is a vessel. With a vessel, Mother can get her real child back, even though she's been dead for a very long time. But if Mother does, then what will happen to me? I'm not her real child. Would she abandon me? No, I don't want that. No, 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 no. I'm not going to read all of these. I should have known as soon as I saw that there was like a, a staticky TV screen that there would be some kind of a spooky interaction. Can I pop through that? No. I wonder if there was something I was missing. Presumably, this leads to. The 
It's not something in French. Yeah, but C A D A U X is cadeau in French, I believe, which is present, I think. But um, I wonder what it means. It's not like Moreau isn't a French name. Where get it? Ugh. Maybe I'm talking out my ass. Who knows? Right, this way leads to where we were before, which was the inaccessible parts of the village. Ah, yeah, I can probably get back through there. Mm -hmm. So there was definitely... What the fuck am I talking about? Yeah, one of these ways leads back to the village, which I don't want to explore yet. One of these leads to... This was where there was a fight with a bunch of wolfmans. There were some, like, new bosses, or mini-bosses, or sub-bosses that appeared. Um, there was definitely one in the graveyard, so maybe there'll be one around here. This is where the boat was, but the boat is gone. Actually, it's C-A-D-A-U-X is Cado plural, isn't it? It's, it's, it's... I mean, hmm... I mean, obviously referring to your, your weird, freakish uh, parasites that you infect people with as a present is, like, pretty traditional for some kind of horror movie villain. That's that's not an abnormal thing to happen. Is this- have I been this way? Is there- actually, is there- is it on the map? That's the question. Labyrinth puzzle. Uh, drowned houses. Mechanical door, beast, Moro's hidden weapon. I definitely want that, which is, looks like it's to my left somewhere. It's back the way we came. But it didn't look like it was in the boss arena. So, uh, probably my best option. Well, actually, this is where he first got a hold of us, right? And throw us into this disaster nightmare scenario with his terrible frog spawn powers, I guess. Oh, I can come back all the way through here even though there's nothing to do there and I can't just hop over this. That's kind of dumb. It's endearing that they let you do that, but it's very out of place in such a scripted game. Anyway, so that's uh, the vampires, the creepy doll, and the fish man down, which just leaves the uh, sexy, crusty cowboy, who, I have to be honest, talks like someone who got super into steampunk in like 2009, back when that was really big, went to a bunch of meetups and decided to adopt this kind of like cogwheel cowboy persona, but everyone finds it really tedious, you know? You know the type. There was definitely a treasure chest around here, which was inaccessible previously, so let's see if we can get it now. Can I drop down here? Probably not. Regardless, um, I definitely want to check out Moreau's laboratory, although perhaps that's not in this area. I'm sure I remember seeing a signpost somewhere. There's fish everywhere. Can I eat this fish? I'm sure it's full of horrible parasites from the horrible parasite monster, but you know, fish. Silver angel statuette. That super looks like it plugs into something somewhere in the world, but uh, there's no, I haven't seen anything that would, would fit that. Is that all that's back here? Where's Moro's secret weapon? It's, okay, so those are the drowned villages. That was the boss arena. That was chickens that I killed. That was uh, the merchant and stuff. That looks like it's just somewhere in the middle of nowhere. That's locked off. Labyrinth puzzle, mechanical door. I'm supposed to go back into town, but I'm not gonna yet. He said to meet him in the graveyard. Although, considering how scripted this game is, maybe, maybe I have to go to the, the graveyard before I can go anywhere else. But let's go see what was on the other end of that elevator first, because that was the... That's the nearest thing that I haven't examined. What was that? That was a note. I already read that. I don't think there's anything else around here at any rate. So I'm back to this position of just desperately needing fish. Please, please give me fish. 
I really thought that I would be able to stock up on fish during the fishman uh, sequence, but all I've ended up finding is um, is chickens. Weirdly, there was definitely there was definitely a signpost that pointed two ways, and it had um, had lab on one end of it. But it must have been locked off. This is how we entered this area in the first place, I think. Maybe maybe the lab signpost was up here. So, everybody in the lift? Great. Um, now, the interesting thing about lifts of, of this uh, era is that, as you can see, we've preserved the, the historic lift from the mine from the 1780s. But uh, the really interesting thing about this lift is that they actually pre-existed uh, the use of electricity. So, as you can see, there's these coggy mechanisms at the top. It lacks modern safety features like an Otis brake. But um, regardless of that, We've successfully modified it to run on electricity now, so you don't have to worry about it being based on the, the water propulsion power from the river, which is good because we just killed a fish man in it. And... Uh, uh, reservoir elevator, or the reservoir elevator, if you will. Actually, maybe it runs off of this. So, okay, this is back upstairs. So yeah, I guess this must up here be the accessible point to that. But what's the labyrinth puzzle? That's what I want to know. I should probably save. Puzzling labyrinth. Ah, okay, the laboratory was blocked off behind this and we needed the crank to get in there, but we now have the crank. That's the labyrinth puzzle. I still have not found a a ball for it. There was one, was there? There must have been one in the, the creepy mansion, but I didn't find a ball there either. I wonder if I missed it or if it's found elsewhere in the game and you're supposed to go back. Because the Dimitrescu's one was definitely in the Dimitrescu. Dimitrescu. Dimitrescu? Dimitrescu. Dimitrescu. Mm. Having been raised on a diet of English and only English, I have a great deal of trouble rolling my R's, but... Um, Dimitrescu? That's the closest I'm going to get. I'll stop butchering this name in a moment. Apparently the U sound on the end is quite important um, in Romanian, like linguistically, and... Uh, it's low-key a problem that they decided that they would pronounce it as if it were French. Oh, birds, fuck. Ah, uh, too late. We'll have to keep an eye out for these and uh, shoot them because they do bear loot. Which is just another one of these parallels I keep mentioning between uh, this game and... Is that another one? Oh, it's the big lads. Where's my varmint hunting rifle? Hmm, too fast for me. Or not. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked. Hmm. Actually, I have an absolute shitload of handgun ammunition. Oh, there's the, <laughs> there's the ball. Well, <laughs> guess that answers that question, huh? In fact, I'm just going to go back and do that puzzle now. So, what the hell was I talking about? Because I don't remember. But you must be used to that by now. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, the parallels. So, ah, shit, where was the puzzle? God damn it. Was it just downstairs? I have to go all the way down the lift again. They really do make you do a lot of backtracking to find a real point in the interstitial bits where it doesn't matter, instead of in the bits where it would matter, such as, you know, during a hunting section, of course nothing happens. God damn it. So I guess it might be a while before I find my way back to wherever the puzzle was. Or was it out here? Am I am I dumb? Am I that stupid? Yeah, it's right over here. God damn it. I hope you will find this incredibly endearing rather than as irritating as I do. There we go. I wonder how difficult these actually are, because they don't seem mega difficult, but it's always nice to see a little bit more screwball scramble. It's a ridiculous thing for them to have included in this game, but I'm incredibly pleased that they did regardless. So, yeah, I've mentioned this on previous streams, but I think there is a determined and distinct parallel between... Oh! Oh, no, 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 no! Ah, oh, beans. Okay, so this one actually is failable. 
there is this actual um this like flow between the games because as i talked about before the very first resident evil game was very location focused it was this uh exploration of a single large location with this kind of like singular tone and these distinct fl like threats and entities and so on throughout it um and then the games continued in that tradition for a while and then is that is it stuck cannot see oh there we go there's a second kink i see how it is so uh yeah it continued in this particular while for the next few games and then resident evil 4 completely kind of rebuilt it um pulling out the camera making it much closer to a first person shooter and having you um do a lot of first person shooter kind of things it became much more combat focused much more of a of a, of a combat game and um actually i should save having grabbed that much more of a, a combat focused game and then essentially uh, more less about exploring a location and more about a linear sequence of set pieces and then the next few games after that continued that way and then they then they sort of mechanically rebooted the series again with seven which as i mentioned previously was too scary for most people even even players of horror, horror games had trouble with it um which is why this game is so much less scary because they didn't want to lose like all of their access to the market come down here and fight me like a man i guess You done wiggling? Oh, you're not dead. I have no idea how much hit points these things have in relation to other things. I remember them as being pretty weak previously, but... Smile! Now how am I going to get the treasure off of that? Look at that. I want it. It's shiny. Can I climb up on the roof of here? It seems like it should only... Be, be only fair. Now, look, I'm not an idiot, let's be honest. This is not my first rodeo. By which I mean first sequence of events that involve me killing just an absolute shitload of zombies. So, yeah, so uh, Resident Evil 7 completely, like, rebuilt the genre. It became first person, but it also went back to being much more, lo like, tightly location-based environmental... Um, survival horror and um, and it really worked it's, it's probably one of the best games in the series but also people did not like how scary it was but um, that led very much to this one and it was kind of a rebooting of the whole series it wasn't a, a, a true reboot it's not it's still the same setting the same things have happened whatever happened has stayed happened however it does um, it did feature this uh, mechanical reboot, and it kind of retreaded the first game. It was a single location, very much... Um, even one set with... Where the hell does that... That leads through this same area. That's interesting. It's a very tightly localised um, zipline. Which I guess is fun for children to play on. I remember, I remember there were really short ziplines in some playgrounds when I was a kid that I really liked. Yeah, I should probably stick to the handgun for now. I can hear something horrible in there. Let's be honest. There's definitely some kind of a fucked up guy, and it's probably a fucked up guy I've already killed 15 of. I could just go through the door. Oh, it's locked. Um, can I climb up on this? That's what I really want. I really want that wing that dropped. Give it to me. Let me in. So yeah, uh, Resident Evil 7 was, was kind of like this restoration of the original game, where we had um, a single a single big mansion to explore and this very tightly locational based stuff, but it also brought in a lot of inspirations from the um, the sort of hunter horror genre that's ha that's arisen since, where you are one individual being pursued by one individual, like Alien Isolation or Amnesia. Yeah, one of my favourite things is that um, if you just time it right, you can just... He's got three arms! Like, we've established that there's lots of weird mutations going on in this setting, so... <gasps> is it a fucked up guy? 
Wow, it's a fucked up guy. Who knew? Stay down, fucker. So, much like many, um, you know, survival horrors, it stops being... Oh, that's nice. That's very pretty. Is that a... What is that? Is that a cult? Um, can I make enough space for this? That's the real question. So, uh, this is the really important puzzle. Wait, what did that say? Items cannot be discarded in the discard area. They need to go in the inventory. Yeah, okay. So, uh, this is the weirdest goddamn control mechanism I've ever seen for this sort of thing. Okay. Can I rotate things? Yes, I can. But if I move this to here, and then I move these up to here, then... Yeah, hmm. This, uh, unlike the previous game, this Resident Evil does not have an item storage box where you can keep stuff in the long term, which I think is a shame, to say the least, because... I could really use some places to keep some things right now. Oh, if I move this here, and then if I move these down here, that should give me just enough space for the Magnum. And I don't know if I can sell weapons, and I don't know if I can drop them, and if I drop them, can I get them back? That's, you know, there's a lot of questions. Right, so that's finally fucking done. Um... I do want to equip that. But do I, only, I only have five magnum rounds. I've been finding them for like a while. Mother Miranda gave me a mountain. Now I can do lots of cadeau experiments. This is my secret special laboratory. I did three cadeau experiments today, but they all went and made a mess. I put in the cadeau and then I tried putting some wolf blood from a needle into the spine. The person wriggled a lot and then killed my assistant. I could not hold it down, so I put it in a cage, and now I have to feed it. So I'm probably going to have to kill something in a cage later, let's be honest. Ah, that I bet that was Moreau's secret weapon. Yeah, there it is. I hear a guy. Oh, well, gee, I wonder if that's the thing we were just mentioning. I've killed one of these already, so they're not much of a threat, really. Although, I'd say that not having very much in the way of hit points. Um, what did it not like? It did not like grenades, I remember that much. It's convenient that it stops every time it wants to try and hit me. But actually, I should probably equip that to my, to my whatchamacallit, to my shortcut wheel since I'm low on rifle ammunition anyway. And I do want to see how much damage this does, so let's equip that instead. I'm not going to be using the knife in this fight, am I? Handgun I probably will use, shotgun I probably will use, so I think we're good. Ooh, I do have more landmines, though. It is hilarious to me that I can just, you know. Is that it? Well, all those preparations were for nothing, I guess. was I talking about? I was talking about the way that this game is a reflection of the previous games. So, um, yeah, basically, in short, Resident Evil 7 was very much a intentional kind of retread of Resident Evil 1 and a lot of the ideas and, uh, like, mechanical themes that they explored. So, um, it then is interesting that they jump to exploring Resident Evil, uh, 4 with this game, the direct sequel to Resident Evil 7. Because 4 was the first major mechanical shift for the series. Is this here? Was this here to help me fight that guy? Because I really did not need the assistance. Landmines solve every problem. Who knew? I should actually make a habit of reloading everything as I go, though. Although I want to save these now. How am I for rifle ammunition? Oh, I've got a fair bit, actually. That's fine. So yeah, um, this one is much more of a, much more of a shooter. Um, the previous game, Resi 7, only had a couple segments in the entire game where you actually run around um, shooting things, and uh, 
probably maybe I should just change up what my heavy weapon is. I, I bet I only get one bullet whenever I pick up magnum ammunition. That's why I've been getting so little. Uh, yeah, so it's much more of a shooter. It's um, also a lot less scary because it's this kind of like you know power fantasy scenario. How many how many cranks am I going to be carrying at this point? I am pleased that they that they separated out the key items from your main inventory, and that over there is probably where I'll fight Frankenstein's. Um, if I, if I'm any guess, where is that? Everything that's up here is there nothing else? Okay, this is just a little bonus zone. I thought this was, I thought this was where the laboratory was. Oh, it is. That is the laboratory. That's it. My friend, this is not a laboratory. This is three sheds and a freak, freaking weird, big monster guy. I don't even. I haven't even seen any laboratory equipment. I don't really know how you can justify calling this a lab. Maybe that's. I mean, they do have this whole kind of like, oh, childlike, isn't it creepy that he's so childlike thing going on? So maybe he calls it his lab the same way that small children putting mud in a jar call it a potion. I would not put that past the designers of this game. I keep thinking I hear a threat, but it's just the noise of the windmill. Which I guess, once again, leaves me with only one place left to, left to progress, so I should head back to the village and go talk to the guy. Actually, let's do a quick reload of the game because of the cutscene slowdown bug that I'm trying to avoid, so I will be right back with you in a second. All right, that should be working. We should be back. Um, I do find, while I have been complaining a lot about this game because it is not subtle and it is not clever and there are a lot of design decisions I think are disappointing, um, especially as I talked last stream about the way that you could have had a really genuinely like great, greatest of all time game if you had a very similar game that had just actually made good on the implied um, like mechanical systems present in the game. Uh, and, and just actually had them be mechanical systems, much like a, um, what do you call it, a uh, alien isolation type game, and for example made the Dimitrescu castle four times the size, uh, and had you hunted freely. Well, gee. I keep forgetting this guy has, like, magneto powers, which is ridiculous. Honestly, it's the least grounded thing in Resident Evil, because Resident Evil has this whole obsession with grounding all of its, like, sci-fi nonsense in science fiction rather than fantasy. There's, like, there's a distinct attempt to have things be, you know, this this is a disease that causes mutations, that, and those mutations cause aggression and cannibalism and physical resilience, and you're like, yeah, okay, that checks out. Sure, why not? That's how, that's how a zombie plague happens in this setting. That's believable. It... It is a, a science fictional suspension of disbelief, whereas um, this is the first Resi game to really just go ham on the supernatural and just have weird wizard shit be happening because, like, this guy is like, he has magneto powers, he makes metal fly around with his mind. That is a little bit more, uh, what a mess. All of these gates have been broken, so... Um, this super seems like he's leading me into a trap, I'll be real with you. Was there something I'm forgetting? No, but I will save at this save point, just in case. He wanted me to meet him in the graveyard. Well, hi. I know you're extremely valuable food, but do you know your extremely valuable food? That's the real question with goats, like... Are they aware of how extremely useful they are to me as a person trying not to be killed by monsters? Oh, it's only ordinary meat that they drop. Still. I probably don't even need to use the the good bullets. 
cheap bullets for you, my friend. Oh, shit. <laughs> I forgot this thing is as big as me and has big horns on its head. Who knew? Um, so he wants me to go to the fortress, which is over that way. I don't want to go to the fortress. Well, I mean, yeah, but Wesker is like... Oh, they use genetic engineering to create a guy who's super smart. That's, that's like, science fictional. I'm fine with that, like... That, that fits into the sort of, like, grounded in semi-real suspension of disbelief milieu, which is a word I am overusing, let's be honest. I, I, oh, hey, has the, has the shop man moved in here? No, he has not. Okay, so that means that this icon... Where is it? This icon is not the sign of the shop man, but the sign of a safe room. Is this updated? This has not updated. Oh, I hear a threat. I'm just going to save real quick. Time to see if I can hunt something else, because really, let's be honest, the most fundamental thing that humans do is just absolutely hunt the shit out of things. I'd love it if this kicked off a whole sequence of games that was just like, yeah, we're just going like full Van, Hel Val Van Helsing vampire hunter now, like wander around Eastern Europe blowing up... Uh, Blowing up anything with fangs. I've already explored this whole area. I don't think there's any, th any new drops for me to find. Actually, yes there is. That sounds like a... Sounds like a fucked up guy. I love to fight fucked up guys. Time to re-equip all of my bullshit. Um, I suppose technically I could just come in here to every time I want to... Get... To change items. Hey, charge directly at me. Thanks. Are you dead or what? Like, what's up with you? Oh, he's fine. I should probably be behind a wall. After all, walls are one of the most fundamental human developments with regards to fighting animals. Does it heal if it goes back to its, like, patrol zone? Is it, like... Where the hell is it? Come out so I can shoot you. Oh, hey, there's more crucified guys. These, these weren't here previously. I'm starting to wonder where they find all the people they fuck up relentlessly. They have de decimated this entire village, but there can't be that many people. There's a lot of corpses around. And a lot of alive corpses that are hunting me. So really, I find myself wondering how possible that is. I should probably use a healing item at some point, but let's uh, chew on this lad. Did that even hurt him? Oh, this one's got red eyes. Oh, this one must be extra tough. Another uh, weird little Dark Souls referent. Now, there should be incredibly useful things lying around, such as grenades. <laughs> I am very low on healing items, though. Definitely hurting it now. That's a dead end. Let's not get trapped. Did it jump clear over me? Should I be wasting all my ammunition on this? The answer is yes. Let's try out the uh, let's try out the new addition to the family. Ow! Fuck. That looks like the end of him. Alright, you are my new favourite daughter. The crystal Ancient Beast, so that one's extra tough because it's old. Even everything in this game is named like a Dark Souls game, it's quite funny. But, you know, even though I have been, like, kicking the shit out of this game at every, every step, and I have been... Well, I haven't been kicking the shit out of it, but I have been... Talking about the ways in which it is it is trite, or could have been clever, or is a mediocre game when it could have been a great game. Um, or even just a good game when it could have been a great game. Uh, 
I am having a blast. I think it's really fun. Um, I've been really enjoying playing it. And every time I'm not streaming, I'm like, hmm, I really, I kind of wish I was playing this, but I committed to uh, a, a blind stream of it, so I can't go off and play it by myself. Which is frankly a tragedy, but we all we all have to live with our decisions. I still need fish. Why is it so hard to find a goddamn fish? Really, that's <sighs> where even is there any water? Like, I found fish in the Dimitrescu, like, lakey bit, and I found fish somewhere else, but I didn't collect them at the time. There can't just be only one set of fish in the game, surely. For the, at the very least, that would not be an efficient way of designing your game. Haha! <laughs> I think I used that one last time, actually. Well, I'm basically out of places to go. I'm gonna go talk to- oh, hey! I don't know how I missed that previously. Uh, I'm gonna go talk to Duke, and then I'm gonna go fight this boss guy. I mean, it's intentional like that. It is supposed to be- the fights in that area are supposed to be you know, claustrophobic. You are supposed to have difficulty seeing your opponent, but you're also supposed to be able to use it to your advantage. The first time uh, I headed through that area, there was definitely uh, an ability to sneak past the um, array of fucked up guys waiting for me. What's up? Is that lunch? Ah, oh. <laughs> my apologies. Oh, is that it? You, okay, we're good. Fine, whatever. <laughs> right, crystal fragment, crystal wing, crystal beast. This is the new one, the ancient crystal beast. Crystallized remains of a prehistoric looking creature. Crystal Moreau is... That boss is worth less than the bonus boss I just obliterated. I get... <laughs> there's something really sad about that. Moreau's whole thing is that he doesn't feel like he lives up to anybody else and like everybody else is uh, always getting better things than him, getting more appreciation than him, getting more praise than him, and yet here he is. I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. I wonder if he has different comments every time you sell him something. Maybe I should have been selling him things individually this whole time. But I could just, uh, I could stock up on ammo, that's, why not? I see. Anything else? Because I do actually want to go fight that weird guy in the graveyard when I get the chance. Uh, I probably won't buy any more landmines, though. Oh, I definitely need definitely need this, though. <laughs> my main limit on my combat prowess at the moment is my ability to have uh, enough healing. Used to be alive. Right. Let's see. What have we got? I could I could get this. I probably should get this actually, even though I keep forgetting to block just because. Like, ah, thank you. we've gathered all the ingredients. Now, it's a shame it doesn't have a cute little animation like uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild. Finished. I'd love for you to enjoy as well. Oh, you thought this was just for you? <laughs> to think such a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. Oh, is he not from here? I assumed he was from here. So that needs fish, that needs juicy game, that needs fish, that needs fish. Yeah, okay, I see how this is. I see I see how it's going. Right, time to upgrade some things. I still don't care about the tactical shotgun. Um, this, however, this does an absolute shit ton of damage, so... Yeah, I know, right? He's he's He might look a bit weird, but... People are mean to him because of how he looks, but that's unfair. Like, he's just a nice, weird guy. He's just... he's cool. I like him. He's fine. Might as well finish out this shotgun as well. I don't know if it's gam... Uh, not gambler's fallacy, but, um... Actually, is it gambler's fallacy? Throwing good money after bad? There's, there's definitely a word for it. Um... But I don't want to move to the, the new guns when I've, you know, got my fully upgraded old guns available. I'm not using that, I'm not using that. I do want to upgrade this, which is wowzer, very expensive. Um, that is a lot of power. How much? So one bullet from a Lemmy is 160. One bullet from this is 
more than 10 times as much damage. However, I can put 10 rounds from a Lemmy into something very quickly, whereas 10 rounds from this, I don't even have 10 rounds for this. Sunk cost, that is exactly the term I was looking for, thank you so much. I might as well, since this one I will actually be using from time to time. I have exactly enough. Huh. How delightful. 210 lay left over. Let's hope I didn't need that money for anything. Have a wonderful adventure. And uh, Merry Dark Souls to you too. So I'm going to just plug this in and have done with it because I don't like it. I don't like carrying it around. What if it spills? You know, I get slapped around by giant monsters fairly frequently. Oh, but I have a bridge crank now, so if I head back out this way, I should be able to see what was on the other side of that mysterious bridge. Chances are it's another mini-boss. And uh, I do want to go back to the graveyard to fight the mini-boss in the graveyard, which I previously decided was too tough for me. Wait, what? Oh, that was the wrong one. Uh, there we go. I love that even this crank is so ornately carved. It's so it's so extra and unnecessary. Although this is the series of things being extra and unnecessary, let's be honest. As um, every Louisiana gentleman who for some reason has a goddamn... Uh, I say Louisiana gentleman. Every, every individual living in Louisiana who happens to, for some insane reason, have a... Um, you know, a, a three-part bar relief puzzle be the medium by which he locks his front door. It's very peculiar behaviour. So I'm going in directly the opposite direction to the way the game is telling me to go. This is my traditional gamer instinct. Um, this idea that I should always explore every area I can go to fully and then double check every other area before I head anywhere else. But it looks like firelight. Is this a secret area? What's up here? Oh, this is here. This is the other end of the... This is the, the other end of the Dimitrescu place. Is this a secondary access to the castle Dimitrescu? What the fuck? Huh, okay, interesting. Remember this? This is where they, like, cut off my hand and fucked me up a whole bunch. This was... this was not... this was not available previously. On the other side of this bridge is the exit to castle Dimitrescu. Um... Which was not re-accessible, but, you know. Also, I've just realised there is again this weird inconsistency with the animations they chose to animate and the animations they chose to have happen automatically on your screen with no hands doing anything. Which is kind of funny. I thought, I thought that was a monster for a second. Like a guy leaning back against the wall. Like with his legs splayed out. Is this? Aha! I haven't looted this. I wonder if there are any other wells I haven't gone back to yet. A ladder? Okay, this is new. Where does this go? I love to find secret areas. I say, sounding like the most generic gamer who ever lived. What? Content that I have to go out of my way to find? I'm delighted. I wonder if there are collectibles down here. And see, that was a joke, but this game does have collectibles, so who knows? This is... is this familiar? Have I been here before? Sure looks like a torture room. Okay, what have we got? This is... A locked door with treasure on the other side of it. We have... Some kind of a... This looks sliding blocky. Can I climb on... are these climbable? Aha! So in this game that has no jump button and no real facility for climbing, they've decided to include a climbing puzzle. How kind of them. That looks super smashable. Actually, there's a pipe bomb here, and there was a thing previously about pipe bombs being used to smash stuff open, so I wonder if I'm supposed to smash this. Aha, like, uh -huh, okay, so I can change the levels of the things. So I need this one as well. Which lets me get over here. This definitely feels like a bonus puzzle that will unlock something cool. So if I push this out of the way... 
Yeah, no, the game doesn't have a day-night cycle as far as I can tell. I think um, that it progresses the, the day or the night by, um, by the medium of plot. Uh, I'm pretty sure that as you progress through different zones and complete different milestones, it updates whether or not it's day or night, but this is probably the right decision, right? That seems like a correct decision. Um, how do I get across here then? On the other hand, it might have a day and night cycle, I might be wrong. Um, what I want is that right hand one to come to, to pop back up. I don't think these affect each other in any way, it's just the question of whether or not I have them up or down. Does that mean I can climb up on this one? Oh yeah, <laughs> it was simpler than I was making it. So now I'm wondering if I should try and pipe bomb that open. This might be a mistake, fuck. How do I get back up? But yeah, I might be wrong about the day and night cycle, it might have one, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's just that it advances with the plot. Um, there's a lot of games that do that. This is probably a waste. And hey, I was right. Ah, beans. I want my treasure. I wonder how much else of Castle Dimitrescu is, is now accessible. Castle Dimitrassel. It would be a hassle to explore the vampire house. Um, quiet as a louse. Are those going to drop on me when I try and go through here? Signs point to yes. I think pigeon's blood is a, is, is a correct term, technically, for a kind of ruby. Well, that's... I guess that's that. Oh, a lockpick. Convenient. Was that there before? Okay, well, depending on what is and is not accessible from this area, the only thing left might be the graveyard guy. The uh, biggest of big lads. Let's have a quick look-see. Right, this was the exit to Dimitrescu, and it's locked as fuck. That was the way that led back to the village, which we can just walk back on if we want to. This over here was inaccessible previously. Which means that this is an area I've not been to, I think. Unless this was the very first way I found into Dimitrescu, where they uh, lock locked me up in metal and cut off my hand and stuff. Oh, this doesn't seem promising. Oh, it's just a puzzle. That's fine then. I was worried this was a new zone. It's kind of hilarious to me that whenever you whenever you crack open one of these doors the first time, he really struggles. Oh, it's really heavy. And then after then, it's just fine. It's no issue whatsoever. I feel like I should probably not step through one of these doors until I'm confident I won't get trapped in there. Maybe the puzzle is how to light that one. Oh shit. Hi! Well hey, I haven't seen any of you in a while. How are the Dimitrescs? Still dead? Oh good for them. How are you guys uh, enjoying inheriting the castle as the only remaining individuals in the uh, Dimitrescu zone? You know, how how's, how's Bob and Barry and Dave and whatever other names we have for thralls. Do they drop anything or are they just going to keep spawning? Love a big pile of treasure. Okay, it's just going to scream every time it spawns one. Can I set them on fire though? That's that's an interesting question that I want the answer to. Go stand opposite this. <laughs> it does! 
Oh, that's delightful. I'm really pleased. See, this is what I'm talking about, where periodically this game gestures at having systemic depth. Um, but then just absolutely does not actually share it any further. There are all these one-off examples of being able to do certain things. Um, like sneak in the castle and avoid the Dimitrescs, but it's actually only relevant for a few seconds. Ah, uh, I've got the I've got this sussed. Okay, it's gonna keep generating guys. I'll set one on fire and lure it over there. Come stand in opposite this, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Come over here. Alright, now try and hit me. But I'll be hiding behind this, yeah? We good? Okay. Hit me, but not really. Thanks, buddy. That was really helpful. Thank you so much. You are a credit to your... Genus? I don't know what the fuck these things are. Tradition? I didn't even look at what that was. <laughs> ah, a, a golden lady statue. It's a statue of a golden lady. Who knew? Is that it? Oh, magnum ammo. One, one single magnum bullet. I was correct about that. So this seems very clearly an offering shrine, but the question is, who is leaving offerings to the Dimitrescs? Who is worshipping the Dimitrescu family? Because that was definitely a statuette of Alcina Dimitrescu. And these are, um... What do you call them? Uh, not banners. What the fuck are they called? Um... The, dang the dangly downy things that you put on walls to stop them being cold, and also they are pictures sometimes. They're like decorative rugs that you put on walls. There's a word for them. Tapestries! Hooray! <laughs> God damn, my memory is terrible. Uh, yeah, so these are tapestries, and I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Castle Dimitrescu in the background. So it is implying further that they have been around in this place for a really long time and have been sort of part of the history of the region, which I think is neat. Um, but if it's the thralls who are worshipping her, that's kind of tragic, really. The idea that they're sort of scrambling in here and being like, well... Like, there's a kind of, like, a, a half-intelligence to them. They're, they're sort of, like, frantically trying to put some kind of meaning in there and sort of, you know, maybe doing the traditions that they had when they were alive, but now displaced onto, onto Alcina Dimitrescu. Although, let's be real, if I was going to worship someone, it would be her, you know? Like, in terms of worship kink, I'm much more into being worshipped than doing the worshipping. But... She is nine foot tall, stacked, and has an attitude to die for. Can I... How far can I go in the other direction? Is there another secret area? I bet there's another equally secret area. But I don't remember any inaccessible areas that I could see by boat previously. Oh, pretty mountains, though. So this... I have no idea where this is. I don't think it's where I started, is it? I should probably make a habit of just keeping everything loaded. Oh, spooky. Okay, this is interesting. Maybe I should have saved somewhere, but whatever. Is this where I... Where there was a whole big cutscene sequence a couple of streams ago where we were attempted to be killed by various different members of the various different families? No, this is somewhere else entirely. This once again feels very so soulsy. That seems big. What's up, Nidhogger? Oh shit. Delicious explosives, just what I wanted. An antique coin. That is a reference to the previous game where um, you could find antique coins and uh, use them to buy various upgrades. So that should... Is that not the... Yeah, okay, so I should be able to... I should be able to... Can you not let me just attach it? Whatever, fine, okay. I'm actually getting kind of a problem with how much full my inventory is. I've got 11 slabs of meat. That's more than I even need. At least they stack. Hmm. So... I'm going to have to start making executive decisions about which weapons I keep around, I think. I wonder if I can sell any of them to Duke. DNA sequencing complete. 99.95% match to Dolvi Mutamycete. 
The deviation of 0.05% can presumably be attributed to artificial changes by humans, which means this is probably the source. Further investigation to how the connections manage to find and extract the mold is needed. The fungal colony is spread out under the entire village. When you take the Baker incident in when you take the Baker incident into account, the hosts of the Mutamycete are a part of a network of consciousnesses. If that network is linked to here, then we would assume this organism here is data storage. If that's the case, what data is Miranda after? So these are more, this is more evidence of um, Chris Redfield's stuff that he's left lying around. Can I just go? Bye. I'm out. So, uh, yeah. Chris Bradfield's stuff lying around as he tries to trace the mystery of um, the origin of various uh, biological superweapons, which is the plot of all of Resident Evil. However, that does throw a bit of a spanner into my theory about this being some kind of dreamscape that the main character's trapped himself in. Ah, fish! Fishy, fishy, fishy. I've been looking for you, my friends. Do I need inventory space? Probably. Oh, I could I could have equipped this to something. That would have saved me a bit of space. So, um I really don't care about the M1911. Uh How big is a fish? And other questions you find yourself asking in the depths of the night. Oh, can these stack? Do they not stack? Apparently not. That's irritating to say the least. Oops. Oh fuck. I did not mean to do that. God damn it. Well then back down to only having one. I guess that makes my problem slightly easier. I do think they could have done some more work with regards to the inventory control system. Anyway, time to go fishing. With bullets, I guess. This is definitely faster than knifing them all. Finest fish. Fish and fish. Great, now I can actually get some decent fucking food in this place. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, yeah, so the previous game is the uh, the Mutamycete mentioned is the weird, like, evil mold in the previous game, which is which was, of course, because this is a Resident Evil game, a bioengineered weapon intended to do terrible things. Yeah, the, the Chris in 7-8 is the same Chris. It's Chris Redfield. Um, he was definitely pre... He, uh, he was definitely a hero in the previous game. He only shows up at the very end in the final cutscene to be like, hey, what's up? Uh, I'm from the, you know, United Nations anti-bioweapon team, and I'm here to save the day. But I see you've already destroyed the bad stuff. And then at the start of this game, he's your buddy, and he's been teaching you to become a paramilitary guy in his paramilitary organization, and then he shoots your wife for reasons. And then um, we briefly met him at the start of the Dr. Morrow section. So it is the same Chris, and he is doing the same stuff that Chris Redfield is always doing. Did I miss something else? Mm, I don't think so. Still don't have the key to that treasure chest, though. Um, but yeah, so uh, the Mutamycete is the, the freakish mold, which for once was not developed by Umbrella Corporation, but was in fact used by The Connections, which is a, a similar um, bioterror organization, because really that's the only thing that exists in this setting. What's, what's that lock picture look like? Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, so... That is definitely a direct connection to the previous game, which implies that uh, the connections obtained the sample they were using to develop their bioweapons from this area, and that that big thing underneath, the sort of Nidhogger dragon thing that we found uh, at the other end of the boat ride, is in fact the origin Welcome of that particular thing. Which means that now that we know there are three, uh, like, Younger. Is to be alive. Three distinct times in history or places or positions or whatever that um, have resulted in um, the existence of like weird, weird, freakish things that can do stuff. Like essentially, Ooh, mutagenic diseases have arisen three times in this setting. We have good deal, if I say so myself. the T virus itself originally. We have the Las Plagas, which is a parasite that mutates its host, and we have this mold now. 
So the thing I was talking about previously about this kind of just being a thing that happens in this world, this is a, a place that has these kinds of issues. Um, it is just part of the nature of this world that occasionally a disease will develop the ability to um, make giant mutant superpowered monsters, and that's just something oh, everybody God. has to live with is, is just true. Like, presumably this stuff is naturally occurring. And was then manipulated by humans throughout history, as we saw with the Plagas and with the uh, T-Virus itself as well. Although I think they later retconned in a connection between the T-Virus and the Plagas, but in Resident Evil 4 it was very definitely intended that this was supposed to be, we're going somewhere else at a different time, this is a whole new thing that we're doing, we're not, this is not the same, um, the same situation, despite the fact that, like, Krauser is around, I guess, whatever. If I get any of these, can I? Hmm. It's, temp it's tempting to use the upgraded shotgun now, I'll be honest. Although I can't unload the old shotgun. And I still can't sell guns, I don't think. Oh, I can sell guns. Okay, fantastic. Is it worth selling the M1911? I'm probably never going to upgrade it, am I? But it depends on how much money I have and how much more of the game there is. Oh, it's fully automatic? Well, that's slightly more tempting. On the other hand, I do love the Lemmy. I'm just going to. Okay, I'm going to have my incredibly overfull inventory for the time being. All right, we are going to take like a five minute break so that I can get some more water and go to the bathroom and also reboot the game so that we don't get the cutscene bug happening. And uh, so yeah, I will see you again in a few minutes. Hope you join me for that.
All right, uh, we are back. And uh, yeah, we're jumping right back in where we were five minutes ago. Uh, just with a much less full bladder. So one thing that I uh, am wondering about is... Um... Shit, you know, I've literally forgotten what the fuck I was going to say I was wondering about. Oh, yes. That's one of the fun things about being me. So I have decided that I am going to sell... Uh, the M1911. I did look up one very minor spoiler, which is if there is another handgun and if it's worth upgrading or selling this one. It says basically that... Um, what it said was you should sell the Lemmy as soon as you get out of the castle and switch to the M1911, and then you should sell this as soon as you get inside the uh, um, the next zone we're going to. But since we're going to that next zone, like, why bother keeping it? I'll just sell it now. And um, buy the upgraded handgun when we get there. So I'm going to do that. I'm also going to sell this shotgun because it's not actually better than the old shotgun. They're just different and I don't like it. Which should give me plenty Please more room for stuff. Oh, I can buy them back off of him. So, do I actually want to get any of these things? Um, I mean, I might as well. Let's get incendiary rounds. This, this, this. Yep, yeah, these are all good things to have. I don't care about these... Do I care about zooming in further? I mean, I'm not having trouble zooming in with the rifle as it is, so it seems like a waste of money for me right now. Now, I should be able to get... I do not have enough fish for the speed boost. That sucks. Okay. I do have enough... I don't have the juicy game. Ugh. I don't have enough fish for this either. This is terrible. How do I not have enough for any of these goddamn things? I'm so this hungry. Please, Duke. Effort. Please. Day, you have then. so much food and I have so little. Please feed me. Um, Alright, where the fuck am I going? So this, I think, was to the graveyard. Nope, that's to Moreau. Which is actually the village we came through at the start of the game, but whatever. This. Yeah, this is the creepy graveyard, which is where we'll be heading next. And, uh, yeah, because there is a mini-boss this way that I want to want to kill. I have a sneaking suspicion that killing that mini-boss will drop the metal ball needed for the, uh, the, the screwball scramble puzzle in this zone, which I don't remember where it was. I think it was just inside the mansion. But uh, even if it's not, it'll still be fun to just relentlessly fuck up a guy for no real reason. Although I should probably change my equipment. All right, let's save the grenades. Uh, maybe I should have my rifle, actually. So, yeah, I sold that. That I want to keep on here. Mm, I have so little magnum ammo, I should probably... I'll put it on my knife, since I probably won't be using that in the fight. Now, what I still don't know is whether or not it's possible to cheese these guys, because I could definitely... Um, lure him out of his like active zone uh, at which one he would turn around and return to it so that seems eminently cheesable unless it also heals him it is often a like cheap way of pre preventing people from cheesing bosses in games to have them completely heal the minute uh, they reset to their previous like route or location I don't think I've even missed anything else around here there's no bird cages or anything Where the hell was the way that I need to go today? And other songs sung to oneself in... Ah, here we are. Nope, oh, need to save those. What would be really helpful is if his ridiculous sweeps with that thing would destroy the zombies as well. Yowza. I need to focus a little bit on this one. Whoa. Does he even have a weak spot? That's normally the- oh, uh, ah, it looks like it's his back. There we go. Youch. Come on, give us a nice heavy hit. Let me get behind you. I wonder if he's- uh, that can't be blockable, right? Youch, okay. Well, I didn't try, but whatever. Oh, 
Can he block bullets with that ridiculous thing? How do I get behind him? Uh, well, you know. People ask for credit, but they say a pipe bomb in the face often offends, so... He did not especially care. Something tells me I'm not fighting this guy correctly. Aha! There we go. Well, no. Okay. Oh, don't summon more zombies. Is that something you can do regularly? Yeah, okay. This guy's like a... This, is, this guy's like a... Uh, World of Warcraft boss. Like, shit, he's summoning ads. Where's my DPS? DPS, clear ads. Why no heal? Everybody report healer. Oh, instead of having one of those boss arenas that has, like, loot scattered around for you to grab, he has this... He has these zombies for you to kill that then drop healing items. I see how it is. Oh, I could make more of these. Ah, that got him. Okay, so you can't sprint underneath him because he just like laser focuses round on you, which is rude. Sir, I do not think that you are behaving fairly. really hurting this guy. Does this work? A little bit. That seems unrealistic, but then we do know he has hands of iron. Maybe I should probably switch to something with less of a pea shooter attitude. Yeah, I know, right? This is such a, uh... Such a mood. Right. Does he care about that? Is that a problem for him, even? Oh. Oh, he didn't like that. Is he dead? Fuck yeah. That was less of a problem than I thought. Giant crystal axe. This is the most Dark Souls thing ever. Oh, that was a waste. I think that uh, in adding my... Uh, yep, adding the magnum to my weapon uh, shortcuts is a mistake that I will not mistake. Will not make a man. Will not make again. Uh, he did not drop the ball, though. I bet that uh, something... I bet, I, bet, I bet it's in this grave. That's bound to be what the answer is. Berengaria's chalice, and nothing else. Where's my ball? Where's my ball? I want to play the game. I want to play the game within the game that is way more important to me than the game. This is a tragedy. Okay, so I have no idea where to find the, uh, the ball for the uh, Bienevento puzzle. Assuming there was one. I'm sure there was one, because it definitely said there were four, and there's definitely four, like, places. I haven't actually returned to the place, so... Oh, I'm not allowed. Okay. Well, um... Let's see. There was a re-access to the backside of Castle Dimitrescu, so possibly after I complete the next main sequence of the game, there will be an opportunity to access another part of this mansion, and that will be where we find Ball. Everyone loves Ball. Who's short on shotgun ammunition? I might actually I haven't crafted ammunition in a really long time. So I've probably got tons of materials for it. Why can't I make more of this? Oh, I don't have enough herb. Um right, so I've got nine gunpowder and eleven of that, which means I can make a few of these easily. I can only make three at a time though, which is a shame. Uh I think I'm alright for these. I've got tons of that, this is fine. 
it is kind of irritating that they didn't give you the option of unloading your guns in, in the inventory. I don't think it refunds you your ammunition when you sell a weapon. Which is irritating. And in previous uh, Resident Evil, you definitely could intentionally unload your weapons. So, for example, if you had two guns, two handguns, and you were using one some of the time and the other some of the some other of the time because they had different properties or whatever, you could definitely switch it up as you pleased, and you could take the bullets out of the one, put them in the other, other, etc. Or indeed, remove all of the bullets from a gun you were about to sell and therefore save them, which, if you ask me, is only sensible. We all need to get better about recycling in these trying times, and um, Ethan Winters is no exception. The fact that he's willing to just throw that stuff away is really quite tragic. Wasn't anything else here? Yeah, no, that just leads back around to the village, which is where we need to go. So I think I really am out of places to go now. We'll just sell up with the old duke. Welcome. I wonder if he's named the duke or if he is actually a duke. One of the four founders. Interesting. Ah. ah, you'll fetch a high price, stranger. Used to be alive. Yeah, there's nothing else here I want, is there? I don't. I'm gonna get rid of this eventually. I'll probably get rid of this after a while. This is fully upgraded. This is also fully upgraded. So there's not really anything for me to spend my money on at the moment. Be, if I say so myself. Which is always tragic, because there is this tendency in games to be a resource hoarder. Um, one of the biggest difficulties in game design is um, overcoming but I might need it later syndrome. Because, like, you are taught by the games that you play to save your resources for when you really need them. But that means that you then tend not to pick the right moment to use those resources because, well, you're doing okay, you might need it more. Which means that you then finish the game with a whole bunch of extra stuff. So my, my instinct is not to um, to spend resources. So until I actually have something to buy, I wouldn't buy ammunition, for example. I've been intentionally avoiding that with this particular playthrough. Um, because, you know, I want to show off this game. I want to explore it fully. I might as well see all the other stuff. But um, yeah, I guess time to go find the last of these various fucked up guys after having defeated several fucked up guys. Although I suppose Mother Miranda is probably the final boss, so this is the penultimate fucked up guy. Which is amusing because he does seem less fucked up than several of the other fucked up guys. Unless the big giant man was, well, hmm. That, that's obviously where, I, where it wants me to go, but this looks super accessible, what's over here? I love to find unexpected secret passages. Is this... which? Okay, which way am I supposed to go? I'm not sure now. I'm starting to suspect that the, um, the big giant werewolf at the... Uh, at the very start of the game, in the first, like, big open combat sequence, is actually not the... the fish? I want fish. Uh, it's actually not the, like, werewolf form of, um... This guy, whose name I forget, uh, the Krusty Cowboy, or uh, Daddy Hard Trade, I think was the name we came up, I came up with him previously, but um, I'm starting to suspect that that's just like a different werewolf. Piggy! I shouldn't waste these. I've got plenty of this, though. Hold still. Tragic. The casual animal violence is truly heartbreaking. What's in here? Explosives. I do love to have some explosives as well. So, I don't know if this is an alternate entrance to the same area, or if I'm missing something by going this way instead of the other way. Only one way to find out. I actually had a friend when I was uh, much younger who... I hear horrible screechy noises. That's not creepy at all. I also hear spooky music. Why is this crystal fragment that I keep seeing? Oh, there it is. Is that a- oh, that's a grill! Or is it? No, I think that's industrial equipment. That's a shame. It was nice to think of, like, the, uh... Like, the difference between the sort of, like, feminine refinement of vampires, archetypically, and the sort of, like, masculine, scruffy camaraderie of, of werewolves, as they are commonly depicted in, in pop culture, is really interesting to me. 
I do love the idea of just a whole bunch of, of werewolves, you know, hanging around with the lads, doing a bit of the old, uh, doing a bit of the old grilling, cracking open a few cold ones. Yeah, barbecue with the lads. Exactly that sort of thing. Do you reckon if I go in here I'm completely boned? Because I don't know about you, but I'm feeling rattled. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, so... Um, there was a way through in there. If this is not the same building that that chute that we found on the other side leads into, then uh, I should probably explore this whole zone first. But if it is, then I'm not really sure what this... What's up with this? Oh, actually, let's reload everything reloadable. I keep forgetting to do that and then getting into trouble. I've got so many flashbacks. How do you switch ammunition types? That's what I don't know. Time to look at the options menu. Uh, controls, keybinds, run, crouch, quick turn, switch weapon, pause, blah, 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 blah. These are all menu controls. So it looks like there just isn't a way to switch which ammunition type you have equipped, which seems wrong to me. Is it in here, maybe? Is there a switch on it that I can flick? This seems incorrect, to say the least. Oh, ah, there's F on the screen. I bet that's the option. Or... Not? Nope, that does nothing. Okay, well, okay, I have no idea. That's irritating. Oh, is there a spooky guy in here? I bet there's a spooky guy in here. I've met a lot of spooky guys lately. That's pretty neat. These are clearly freshly killed. Although, again, where the fuck are they even finding people at this point? Oh, it's another one of them. I see how it is. Smile! be quiet again because these do take a little bit of focus to kill. Hey, go stand next to that. Thanks. Now, is there any other way for me to easily stagger him? And also, can he climb stairs? Ah, here's another way to easily stagger him. Hey, are you... I hope that does damage in addition to just staggering him. That's a lot of meat. This one can probably summon gargoyles then. If the other guy... Uh, summon zombies. Can I drop off here directly? That's... Probably something I should be doing more often. Alright, he looks like he's hurt a bit, at least. Is he larger than the last one? I think he is. They're growing big here in Transylvania. I mean, it makes sense that, like, the villager only went to shit that morning, therefore there's plenty of guys for them to have killed, but... I have not seen a living person, and yet I am still seeing freshly killed corpses. That's what I'm saying is odd. Do I? I have landmines. I have pipe bombs. I have grenades. You know, bosses that you have to stun and then shoot the weak point point on their on their back is also a very Resident Evil Four thing, as opposed to the other residents' evil. The other evil residents. This is a game all about evil residences, I think. Oh shit, this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre! Oh, I'm an idiot. They really are going through all the different horror classics, huh? Do you mind? I'm busy. I'm 
not sure I even have any more healing items. But yeah, this is absolutely like this is this is Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So that's like eight horror movies they've directly referenced now, which is neat. Although I am out of convenient environmental explosives. Is he getting faster as he takes damage? Maybe. Does he like laser focus onto me when he jumps? What do you want? Come on. Come on, give it up, lad. You're done. Thank you. Well, that didn't take too much ammunition, just most of it. Now I can finally see what's in this box. That's, what's, that's what I've been wondering this entire fight sequence. So I guess this is just a whole bonus arena that you, you only find if you're clever like me and notice that there was a secret path. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, I've criticised a lot of the design and options and decisions and a lot of the mechanics in this game, but I do think that it's... Uh, the extent to which it's willing to hide stuff and let you find it is nice. Even though it's not like mega mega hidden. Meat, meat, meat. Is there no fine meat? I thought there would be extra special, extra double good meat. Fish, meat. None of them. Oh, there's not special, special good meat? Was there something through that wall? No. July 8th. Today is the day the jolly merchant stops by. He always gives me old newspapers. I know Miranda forbids them, but news of the outside world is so fascinating. There was one thing that piqued my interest in the last one. It was an article about some medicine company. I don't remember the name, but their emblem looked familiar. It was the same as the symbol on the giant's chalice. I'm pretty sure I saw the same one painted on the walls in the cave, too. That radiating umbrella image really stands out. What's some outsider company emblem doing here? I wonder if it had anything to do with that man who stayed here years ago. Nah, I'm overthinking it. So, okay, they're clearly bringing in the, like, um... Traditional Resident Evil Umbrella Corporation bullshit, which is funny to me. Because, uh, they've stepped away from that stuff so much in this game. But this does actually reinforce my original theory, which is that, well, like, this is all just stuff that's occurred at different times in different places, right? There's no reason to assume that Umbrella has to be involved in everything just because it's Resident Evil and therefore Umbrella is involved in everything. That's several guys. Let's see how they like one of these. Not especially. Oh wow, there's a ton of them. It's a good thing I've upgraded this, huh? And that is why I didn't want to swap to the M1911. Uh, so to finish my point, um, what I was hoping was that was not that Umbrella necessarily would not be involved in anything. Oh, I was probably supposed to lure them by these bombs and kill them that way. Oh well, I guess I'm just too good at combat. Uh, but yeah, what I was hoping was that it would turn out essentially that... Link. This is all stuff that's occurred at times in places, like, there's the mechanism by which people can become giant weird freak monsters um, must be a, one that is, like, physically understood and that exists as a physical thing in this universe. Like, DNA manipulation can, can create these giant monsters, therefore, the mechanisms by which those giant monsters can exist is part of the physical nature of this world. So, given that, it is ridiculous that they, people always want it to be, oh, it's always this one thing, it's always this other thing. Even if Umbrella is involved, I like the idea that, like, you know, hundreds of years ago, some guy was, some guy was uh, experimenting with alchemy or whatever and discovered that this weird disease or whatever, this one weird thing could, this one weird trick, doctors hate him, could make zombies happen and try to get eternal life through that, some alchemist. So given that, I like the idea that, um, you know, maybe some guy fucked up with that the same way that Umbrella fucks up with it in the modern day, a hundred, hundreds of years ago, and that's why we have Legends of Vampires, because he act accidentally made vampires like some kind of idiot. And that therefore, you know, in the wild places of Europe, they are there are still these remnants of all this stuff. And, uh... 
I feel like they're supposed to... What I love is that these guys were intimidating at the start of the game as they stalked menacingly towards you and soaked up bullets. But like... Pop, pop, pop. Everybody smile. Like, it's just not an issue anymore. Honestly, it's a waste of rifle ammunition at this point. I mean, yeah, I do mean made vampire like a really cool guy, because making vampires is a very cool guy thing to do. But my, my, my hope is that, like, that was some kind of, like, thing that happened a long time ago, because there's no reason to assume that, like... Umbrella's the only corporation that's ever figured this out. And this is supported because um, in Resi 6, I believe... Oh shit, I'm nearly out of handgun ammunition. Uh, in Resi 6, I believe, there was this whole thing about, like... How much of this do I have? I need some of these. Let's make some of these. Some of this. A little bit of that. No, we're all, we're all good. There was this whole um, thing about this ancient society that used the T-Virus in some weird way with their, like, magic rituals to create weird guys. And that that's where, uh, that's revealed to have been where Umbrella got the idea in the first place. Um, so if that is the case, like, there's no reason to assume, oh, it must always be this one particular system. And even if they do bring Umbrella back in, it's clear that the Dimitrescs have been doing Dimitrescu thing. Or Dimitrescu have been doing Dimitrescu. Th Dimitre tre nah, I can't roll my L's. Dimitrescu things for... Ow! Fuck my eye! Jesus! For hundreds of years. So, if Umbrella came here and discovered Umbrella things in this location, that doesn't mean that these other entities weren't pre-existing. There's no reason to assume that this is because of Umbrella, rather than this was, like, adapted or borrowed by Umbrella. So, is that... Are we all good? Are we done, though? Because I'm kind of low on ammunition. I should probably switch to the shotgun for the next bit. Um, oh, hello. Oh, it is irritating when they die and I can't reach them. As we all know, looting is the single most important thing in any game. It's all about the loot tree. The loot cycle, the loot treadmill, even. Um, let's see. That's Maybe I should have used that to explode some guys. Who knows? But yeah, so I, I do hope that it turn that turns out to be the case and not that, oh, Umbrella did experience here 20 years ago and then everyone's inexplicably become vampires in that intervening time. Aim down the sights and then, and then press the button. Okay, thank you for finding that for me. That's ouch, really convenient. Would you mind, could you, sir, could you not? I am a tourist. I am here to visit your delightful local culture and learn about your ways. I really don't see why you feel it necessary to behave like this. Bye. Can I? I can't aim down far enough. <laughs> You're not subtle. You're not clever. And you smell really bad. And that's why you have no head. I believe that the the uh, grenade launcher is the only one that I actually have alternate ammo types for as as yet. That is ridiculous. That is just bad UI design. They show the icon on there, but they don't say anywhere in the game how to actually use it because if you just press F, that's just interact. I say. Eliding the fact that if I had experimented for like 15 seconds, I would have discovered that. But, you know. Let's just accept that everything I say is true, because uh, it is. After all, that's why you come to my channel, that's why you come to my streams. Or my incredible lack of insight. I'm uncomfortable with how much explosions there are right next to me right now. Was I supposed to lure those guys up here and fight them like that? Am I just... I think I'm too good at headshots. A lot of explosions lying around up here. Ah, this is a location where I need to use my NPC companion to press the other lever at the same time. Oh, there's more guys. Come on, lads. Leave it out. <laughs> I'm tired of your shit. Go over there, please. It'd be really convenient if you... Oh, hey, they did. 
It's nice of them to finally be accommodating. I love the rising string tone. Um, I think it's using... There's a clever trick in... Uh, like... Um, movie and game score writing where you... Basically... Oh, you can press space to push people away? Is that like Leon's kick that was incredibly overpowered? Um, what the fuck was I talking about? Oh right, yeah, there's this there's this trick called, I believe, Rising Thirds, which is where you essentially trick the mind into hearing um, a, like a rising tense sound that just lasts forever and it gets higher and higher and higher over and over and over. Um, that's not what's happening. It's cycling in a way where it's sort of overlaid with its own um, sound higher up in the like in the mix as it goes and so through them through that uh medium you can get this kind of like tense sound that sounds like tension rising and rising and rising and rising and rising and always going up and never getting any lower um but yeah it doesn't really matter how how many tricks you use if your guys are just really vulnerable to headshots a shepherd scale interesting i didn't know that it had a I didn't know that it had a classical term like that. I've definitely heard it called rising something. Oh, were they? I thought that they were used in. I thought they were used in traditional music sometimes. Or no, I'm thinking of the Devil's Fifth, which is like this one particular uh, chord that you can play that just makes people feel uncomfortable. It's very literally bad vibes, um, which is another option for a uh, <laughs> for an episode title for when I upload this to YouTube. Oh, I missed one of these. Love a treasure box. There's less in these treasure boxes than, than I get for just popping heads, really. I do hope there's a, a save point soon, though, because I'm a little bit low on... I, You know, I reckon this was... There was actually mentions of a, of a Castle Dimitrescu that was very old, and I said couldn't possibly be the castle that we saw previously. The way it was written implied that that castle, the castle Dimitrescu that we were in previously, was the castle mentioned as existing in like 1200. However, this, this is much more accurate to a uh, an early medieval castle. So I wonder if it, that might be a translation issue between English and Japanese, or it might be just a, an oversight on the part of people writing this stuff. But my, my personal headcanon is going to be that this is the original castle Dimitrescu uh, that is much older than the other one that was clearly built in the mid 1600s um, or later even as a palace because it's it's not a it's a castle but it's it's a palace. Um, oh, that's really interesting. I did not know that it had that origin. I genuinely thought it was something from traditional music that people just figured out was one weird trick. So. Uh, Right, it seems like we might be seeing a cutscene sometime soon, so just in case, I'm going to reload again real quickly. This might take an extra minute <laughs> because I accidentally booted the wrong game. Something I don't make a habit of, but well, you never know. Or, you know, we could just go play some Dishonored instead if you want. Incidentally, the reason I was a bit late starting this stream today, for anyone who happens to have been um, watching the whole time, is that uh, I, was, uh, I was recording tomorrow's episode of my YouTube Let's Play of Dishonored and... Um, I lost track of time a little bit. Okay, I have now booted the correct game. Not the other wrong game that isn't the game I'm supposed to be playing. There we go. Fantastic. I do think 
that um, Village has definitely made some, made a lot of uh, design mistakes and just like overall design mistakes. I don't mean in terms of specific um, mechanics or systems or anything like that. I, for example, uh, as I said previously, they, they could not have predicted the popularity of the Dumitrescu family, even though really they should have. But uh, can I? Oh, ah, I see shinies. Any, I thought I saw another one. This looks super climbable. Can you just jump across? No. Anyway, so they couldn't possibly have predicted that, but um, it's it's really like blows its load early because she's like the most interesting and charismatic of the the bosses we faced so far. The the creepy doll person was not interesting. Moreau was not interesting. This cowboy guy might be this interesting, be maybe. But who knows, really? How the fuck many werewolves do they have? I've killed hundreds of these guys. Was this was this village like three quarters werewolf and one quarter person? Oh hey, I remember this from the trailer. How about you all walk at me along this very consistent single pathway? That would be really convenient for me if you could do that, guys. Oh! He flanked me! That's against the rules! Yeah, I love these bizarre tricks that you can pull on the human mind. Whoops. You good? You alright, buddy? Maybe I should have gone back and seen if Duke had any more ammunition for me to buy because I'm running low again. Definitely need to get the hang of blocking. Uh, anyway, oh, so the uh, Dimitrescus, Dimitrescus are um, definitely, definitely kind of the most charismatic enemies in this game, and. She has a much more, Alcina herself, has a much more directly represented relationship with the presumable final boss of the game, which is also interesting. Uh, just hold still, for, hold still for a second, lad, while I rummage in my briefcase. Uh, let's see. I probably should have made more shotgun, but whatever. So, yeah, um... Having made the decisions that they did, I'm surprised that, well, like, as soon as they started showing off this game, like, for years people have been incredibly thirsty for all Elsina, so, like, uh, that was a waste, oh well. Is that one dead? Yep. So, given th that, ugh, given that they knew that, you know, it's strange to me that they would not have, uh, like, increased the amount of time you spend in the game with that character, or just shifted her sequence to later in the game, which I have no idea how difficult would be as a game design, you know, challenge, but like FromSoft do this sort of thing all the time of um, essentially shuffling where in the game things are shortly before release, which is one of the reasons why things like Dark Souls 2 have such weird pacing issues. Oh, I'm out. That was more of a problem for him than me. Still, we are running into some issues. I definitely- okay, there's just an absolute fuckton of these guys. I'm not sure I'm supposed to be fighting them right now. But it hasn't indicated to me that I shouldn't be fighting them, and usually it will. It definitely did when fighting the Dimitrescu family. Um, Pipe bomb, very convenient. Yeah, like this is just too many. This is too many werewolves. Smile. That did not have as wide of an, of an effect as I had hoped. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna go. Because, generally speaking, in design terms, you want the player to know that they can't fight a particular fight because, uh, you know, otherwise they'll waste all their ammunition and then they'll be like, well, I wasted all my ammunition, this sucks. When does- is this- that's not going to take me anywhere useful. Or is it? Oh, it is. Fantastic. Um, because then it just feels bad to have wasted everything you have and be like, oh, fuck. 
uh, be like stuck because you, you used all your resources. So usually you teach the player that they can or cannot do something in a certain area. Oh, okay, big lad as well. I see how it is. Are they allowed in here? They're allowed in here. <laughs> no dogs on the furniture. Can I not just... That looked like a full suit of a field plate. Can I just slip into that real quick? There's got to be a trick to this. They don't seem to be chasing me down here. Uh, wow, I've wasted all of my goddamn ammunition. Duke, are you around? Uh, what the fuck was I talking about? Right, yeah, so they, they kind of blew their wad early by having the, um, the Dimitrescu uh, be the first boss that you fight. It seems like they really should have been a more consistent presence throughout the game. Um, and you do actually spend a lot more time with them than you do with the others. I was thinking about this earlier. Um, the first stream was mostly the village and a bit of the castle. The second stream was entirely the castle. Um, well, no, it wasn't. It was the rest of the castle and then the entire... No, this is stream number four. Yeah, so... The entire the second stream was entirely the castle, and then the third stream was the rest of the castle and all of the creepy mansion, and then this stream was all of Moreau and now the vamp the the werewolf guys. The king's orders finally arrived. Withdraw. It is most vexing that we must abandon the border stronghold to those heretics. If I had but a little more time, I know I might be able to turn the tides of this battle. Nay, I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There are a number of ruins in the vicinity that the locals say are very ancient. The ceremony site with four giant statues, the caves with murals painted on the walls, the stone plinth they call the giant's chalice. Where did the people who built them come from? Where did they go? It irks me that we must abandon this place not knowing. Oh look, this is a save room, so I know I'm, I'm safe. Um, right, can I make more ammunition? It might be worth just making shotgun ammunition instead of uh, anything else. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Where did they come from? Vampire Joe. Should probably reload everything while I've got the chance as well. But yeah, so... Actually, that doesn't make... How old is this piece of paper supposed to be? Like, when is that referring to? Is that a, supposed to be a medieval piece of paper? Because that's nonsense. That's not a thing. Like, there is no scrap of paper that lasts in the... Op well, like, just... In a space that is... Somewhat hidden, but not, like, very hidden from the element. There's a typewriter! There's a typewriter here, there's no way that's a medieval piece of paper. Does it date back to, like, the 1800s? When was there a big fight in this region? We don't actually know exactly where we are. Like, historiographically. And some random schmuck wouldn't have been able to write, probably. That was reserved for the gentry and the clergy. They're probably going to jump out at me again, aren't they? I, I kind of wish I had stayed to fight, but I just straight up did not have enough am ammunition left. That looks locked. Is it the big guy? It's the big guy. Yeah, so I reckon he's a mini boss, not the transformed form of, of, the, of Daddy Rough Trade. What else have we got laying around that might be useful? Yowza. That was a lot of pipe bombs, so presumably I'm expected to use them. Stand on that, please. Thank you. Very kind of you. Is it? This is a tight combat. Am I supposed to fight him in this tight... I can't run past him. Could you knock these pillars over and then they fall on you, maybe? That would be really helpful. I think he has the same move set as the uh, as the big guys. I don't think he has the same weak spot. Are you gonna go up there occasionally? I bet you summon guys, huh? Yeah, okay, he's exactly the same as the other mini bosses. Just bigger. Smile. Although I didn't have to fight their minions so so much as I fought the guy. Yeah. 
Unfortunately, he does seem to be dropping stuff like the others did as well. Maybe it's time for the last of my magnum ammunition. Oh, spin attack! That's a that's a new addition. That looked like that staggered him. Oh boy! Oh boy! He's got a real meat tenderizer. Bonk. You alright? Did you hurt your noggin? Ow, I hurt mine. Fuck. That's new. The other ones could not do that. Can I make you drop it, please? Absolutely not. Okay, so that removes cover from my environment, which is not something I would like him to do again. This feels like one of those like carefully planned boss fights you get in like mid 2000s PlayStation platformers, like a Jack and Daxter or whatever. Like these different stages of this boss fight as he hops up and summons things and hops back down again. Glad I loaded this earlier. They did not care even slightly. Well, that one cared. Oh, interesting. So the the hammer seems to have a physics aspect. Grab these. Just in passing. Oh, there's more of them. Bigger and there's more of them. Stand on that. Thanks. Right. What do I even have that might stagger him? Well, I need to make sure I get as many health items as possible. Uh, hmm. Well, hmm, landmines. Landmines are always an option. We do have plenty of landmines. Could you step slightly further forwards? Please don't jump. Just step. There you go. Fantastic. That did nothing. Have I finally found an opponent immune to landmines? I thought such a thing was impossible. Oh, he's doing this again. Yeah, that doesn't feel blockable, and yet. Oh, he didn't... Ah, oh, his the, the landmine didn't go off. Shit, okay. I guess he actually needs to stand on it, not just near it. You know, the dust clouds these things kick up is actually more of a problem for me than it is for them. Was less of a problem than I thought it was going to be. Eat shit. <laughs> Love the dialogue in this game. Ethan's Ethan's kind of got uncomfortably used to this, I would say. He's just, you know, you fight a 12 foot full vampire lady and he's just like, you suck so bad, I hate you. You're awful and your castle stinks. A lot of shinies in here, though. Is that all of them? Vivianite, crystal fragment, yellow quartz. Anybody else? Nope, I think that's the lot. Did I miss any? This, again, Dark Soulsy. The obsession with crystals is a very Dark Souls thing. Why do these guys crystallize when they die? Oh, I love my protagonist voice. Um, well, gee, that looks familiar. Well, if it ain't a jar of piss. I'd love to have piss flashbacks. What? You're the real deal, Ethan. Well done. Quit hiding, asshole. I'm not letting you get out of this. Talking about his asshole again. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange. In exchange what? First of all, come to me. 
put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. So as we established last stream, uh, if this is indeed a journey to the center of the mind as we explore Ethan's fucked up mental state, um, it is it is pretty clear to me that uh, each of these different bosses represents a different deep-seated fear. So, like, we had the Dimitrescs, which represented, like, the deep-seated fear of feminine sexuality and all of that kind of stuff that I talked about previously. We also had um, the the Puppet Master being the deep-seated fear of, um, essentially, that something horrible will happen to your child. Both your fear, Ethan's fear of the inability to successfully care for his child, and also the kind of, like, deep fear of what I would call, normally call the fear of miscarriage, but he's not the one bearing the kids so like it's really more like the fear of that your child will be born like malformed in some way which makes sense as a, one of the atavistic fears that would be especially resonant to him considering that his wife was infected by a weird freakish mold fungus oh lovely why does everyone look stoned in, in like medieval icon portraiture um so then we also had moreau who was much more directly you know the fear of the monstrous the fear of um the like pathetic and despicable in humanity, which is problematically represented by deformity, but like that is a very strong and consistent trend in art throughout history, is that deformity and a deformed human is used to represent monstrosity, um, and that people are very afraid of human deformity. So, given that, we also established that um, the uh, the Daddy Rough Trade, the cowboy, is and sort of these guys in general is very definitely representative of his fear of his repressed homosexuality let's be real or at least bisexuality because i mean he's just it's so clear like he 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 cannot stop thinking about this guy's asshole and his cock he keeps talking about cum it's it's such a oh hey this is this the bottom of the is the dimitrescu dimitrescu castle i recognize i think i recognize this space oh. That's a much more modern uh, stretcher than was in that place, though. Ooh, photo of a phantom fish. So that looks like I can probably find some kind of secret bonus fish if I go to that location. If I can recognise it in the photograph. Cadeau implantation notes. Subjects 174 to 181. Uh, subject 174, characteristics 21, male, silversmith, scars from pneumonia, low affinity, caddo failed to grow, body transformation, drop in cognition, another lichen sent to pasture. Subject 177, Bernadette B, characteristics 21, female, no occupation, no history of illness, results, death. Subject 181, Alcina D, characteristics 44, female, noble descendant, not from the village, hereditary blood disease. Very high affinity, no loss of cognition, arbitrarily able to control body transformation, applied cognition, control procedure, sent for observation. Okay, well, that torpedoes my theory about the Dimitrescu family just being in this place for forever and just being being vampires in the classical mold, which is a huge shame if you ask me. I was genuinely hoping that that would be the case, but if she's not from here, she definitely seemed to think she was from here. I always forget these guys can take a couple of those. It is becoming a consistent trick this game pulls that you um, you fall for the old uh, the lobster trap. You can get in, but can you get out? The number of times it likes to have things jump out and go ooga booga whenever you get into a place that you can't reasonably escape. But, like, obviously I'm being facetious with my um, excessive close reads of this game with regards to what things may or may not represent. I did that, I think, quite exceptionally well in the previous stream, but, um, yeah, all of that, like, is somewhat joking, but I do think that there is an interesting, uh, there is an interesting thematic difference here between the way that the Dimitrescus and, Dimitrescus and their femininity is presented, um, their refinement, their, their class, um... Like, the sexuality of the vampire is a very... I knew I would be fucking coming out of one of these graves later. I I said that, like, six hours of gameplay ago. I said I was going to pop out of one of these at some point, and here we fucking are. 
anyway, uh, so the the like sexuality of the vampire and what that represents as like an atavistic fear, the fear of sexuality itself, the fear of of um, sexual disease as well, is is very clear and traditional. Like it's not that much of a stretch. So. Given that, it's interesting that they kind of embody... I don't know that this was intentional, because when these things become so massively entrenched as, um, like, cultural reference, they sort of take on a life of their own. They, they kind of stop being about um, what they originally meant and, you know, become self-perpetuating references. So, given that, it's interesting that it is, of course, replicated here in this game, as we see... The, the difference between scruffy, stinky, um, brutal, um, masculine enemies of, in the uh, uh, in the werewolves, the lichens, and um, the the same like the opposite, the very very polar intent with the the femininity of the vampires, also in the like rarity and exceptionality of the vampires as compared to the absolute shit tons of uh, werewolves that we've been mowing down as we go. I'm not sure how much of this game there is left. I, I'm i low-key tempted to try and push through and finish it tonight, but there's... Like, we've done the four main zones, so I'm not entirely sure how much possibly there can be left. Uh, this was not the save room. I, was, I saved already, though, so it's fine. I was going to go back and talk to Duke, though, but that's where we need to go anyway for the next sequence. I can't think of any areas we haven't explored that are accessible. Just whatever happens when we plug the thing into that. It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. Good for you. Oh no, there's definitely that factory that we've seen meaningfully be glimpsed through various like niches in the the landscape a few times. So that will definitely be another zone to go to. So there's at least one more zone. Therefore, I think we can stand at least one more stream. But um. Question is, how far into it we go today? Father Nicola, one of the four founders, interesting. And uh, Guglielmo, one of the four founders. I feel, aren't we up to like six founders now? There's a lot of names in this game. Aha! I've gotten some new stock. Got some good things on sale, stranger. He, every single time he says he has new stock and he never has new stock. I'm gonna pick up this recipe <laughs> just for completionism. I guess maybe he has more pipe bombs than he used to. More landmines? Not by much. <laughs> I guess it does take a village to found a village, but they do keep saying there's four of them, so that's what I'm complaining about. I don't want to upgrade any of these any further. In fact, I can't upgrade any of these any further. Do I have anything else I can eat in the kitchen? Oh, I could get... No, I, don't, I can't get that. I don't have fish. Ugh. So have let's have a look at that key adventure. item I found, which I assume is... There we go. So that looks like it is by the jetty by the boat, but which jetty? That might take a bit of effort to find. Hmm. Oh, there's a treasure map, but I already got that treasure. Uh, And the necklace, which I still don't know what's up with. Oh, is that it? There was just a treasure. There was just a, a treasure item in it that I could find and sell. That's a bit sad, really. Is it combinable? I thought he was hanging on to it because he cared about Louisa because she died horribly. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass the time. I hope I find the other thing that plugs into this eventually. As always, a trustworthy. Fit. Do let me know if you find anything else of value. Yeah, do you have any more bullets? I really need more bullets, actually. Huh, interesting. It takes less... Rifle bullets uh, take less metal. So, okay, I'm going to try and push on and just see what happens. Instead of uh, stopping here. can't help but think I've missed something somewhere. Also, it seems like Umbrella... Oh, okay, I'll just take this enormous stone edifice with me. Huh, okay.
well well a new gate I do not what is with this guy this guy is no uh this guy is no Chris why the fuck is he able to lift that that is a stone pedestal the size of his own goddamn torso that has to weigh like a couple hundred kilos easily probably way more what the fuck that's so weird okay now this has to be a dream Anyway, time to- oh, this was the way we came in. That's interesting. I wonder why it's leading me back this way. Am I supposed to go via the river? What the hell was What's that? Going on? What's going on? More insightful dialogue from the, the uh, man of much genius himself. Oh right, there was this there was this even older I forgot there were two there were two magic pedestals. You know, very close by to one another. I forgot. How could I possibly have forgotten? Maybe it's made of styrofoam. This whole place has the energy of a theme park, so it's just um, you know, spray painted plaster. Oh, and this is very dark souls as well. <laughs> I do appreciate that they've drawn uh, their inspirations very widely from other games this time, rather than uh, mostly referring. Ref ref oh, uh, okay. Was I supposed to come down here? Rather than referring back mostly to uh, 80s movies and just other residents' evil. The sheer kind of casual acceptance that Ethan Winters has for everything fascinates me. This is a man who's just kind of like, oh, uh, okay. Every single time something strange happens to him. He gets, you know, stabbed to bits, he gets thrown off of cliffs, he gets his hand cut the fuck off multiple times. And he's- Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll be fine. Ha! Just get your ass across the bridge. Okay. Uh, well, anyway, he does just, he does just kind of be like, yeah, see, again, there's, there's a lot of like, um, I guess not sexualized language, but like, there's a lot of that kind of stuff in it, which is interesting for the same reasons that I've discussed previously, like the difference between the scruffy masculine sexuality of the cowboy man and the, uh, extremely distant, pristine sexuality of Lady Dimitrescu. So... I think that I might call it here for today. I've had a good time. I hope you have a, had a good time. There's been less of a turnout on this stream, but that is fine, I guess. Um, you know, it's a lot to ask people to give me six hours of their week. like. But, so I'm just pleased that I got anybody at all. And next time, next Monday, we will be exploring whatever the hell this is. Abandoned factory. Um... So, yeah, that is going to be all from me for today. I hope you had a good time. Catch you later.